Namaste. My name is Rui Zimmer. I'm international meditation master. I have forgotten to push the button to for recording. Now I have to do it again. Why does the Middle East have the lowest cancer rate? The average rate, cancer rate is 200. The Australia has 500, the USA 400, and the Middle East only 100. This means USA has four times more cancer and Australia has five times more cancer. If we suppress our negative emotions, then that grows every cancer. And I've seen it again and again, and I have forecasted it for so many prominent positive thinkers, and they all got cancer because it's so easy to forecast. So this means the positive thinking is promoting negative emotions and so the cancer. And if I see a positive thinker who is still positive thinking, I know he will get cancer. Okay, most of the cancer we can starve with fasting or Ramadan, and that works for 90%. And it doesn't cost anything. Four to six weeks fasting, water fasting, cancer is over. The fasting is the best for inflammation healing, build up new immunity cells, increase antioxidant uh, um, network. Oh, oh, easy, easy. Hippocrates had said, eating when sick is to feed the illness. Animals don't like to eat when they're ill. I do this also when I'm really ill. For instance, the hunsas never Never, I said, but I said, never had in the past any case of cancer. Guess what they're doing? And they have the longest lifespan, the healthiest life, because they fast for three months and eating or drinking only the juice from dried apricots. <laughs> it's, life is so damn simple. <laughs> or do we think that Gandhi had cancer? No. Okay. The Middle East is doing Ramadan for one month. Fasting during Ramadan means you don't eat and you don't drink anything from dawn to sunset. And then they start with dates. Dates is uh, um, preventing uh, cancer or healing cancer even and drinking water. That becomes the best. Sugary sweets and fried food should not be consumed during Ramadan time. Guess, it's the best for cancer and I should not eat sugary. Do this also, just let out the sugary and sugar is in every industrial processed food. So the next thing is, that's so easy. The Middle East is not consuming alcohol. Oh, alcohol is directly connected to cancer. Increase the risk of six different cancers. The alcohol kills the healthy bacteria in the colon and supports the harmful, harmful bacteria, organisms, superbugs, and so on. Oh, and supports the leaky guts and colon cancer. And colon cancer is now um, number one. Okay, the Middle East is even eating white sugar at most from all countries and so have obesity and diabetes. White sugar is the very best food for growing cancer. There's nothing better than white sugar. Eat white sugar, you do good for your cancer. Cancer needs glucose and without glucose, cancer cannot survive. You see this in India. Before, no white sugar, only brown sugar, and then white sugar, cancer 20 to 30 percent. I don't need any proof. I just look on India. I know it. <laughs> okay, the Middle East uses spices that have anti cancer properties turmeric, saffron, cardamom, nutmeg, caraway, cinnamon, coriander, and eat food that prevents cancer, like black seeds, 
dill, sesame seeds, dates, and also ginger. Okay, this is perfect. Then allow tobacco uses for women. Average is 20% in the Middle East is between 2 and 8%. If you smoke, then the risk of cancer is 20 times higher. Hmm? Smoking, 20 times higher is the cancer. What I've said? Smoking is great for cancer. Okay, 20% of the cancer is directly caused by smoking. This means lung cancer and, uh, and um, a number of the stomach cancer is directly cancer, uh, connected and, and here thyroid cancer. Okay, thank you that I could speak about this and bye.